Welcome back. Let's fix something. We have this laptop. This is coming from another computer shop. You know, people, they are fixing things. And uh, when things get harder, they send it here. I'm fixing things. Most of the gadgets which I'm fixing, it's like two or three people have tried to do something there. So we have this laptop. This is coming from another computer shop. And uh, the laptop came in as no power. Yeah, the laptop came in like this. No back cover, no CMOS battery, no heat sink, no fan. Probably this is some kind of laptop with no fans. Let me see which laptop is this. HP 250G6. This is HP 250G6. Okay. So, why this laptop is not turning on? Let's check out the charger. We do have the charger, which I believe must work with 19 volts. So, we we'll check the charger first. Check on the mount meter there on the screen 19.52. So our charger is good. The next step is to plug in the charger. On HP it's very easy. You must have the charging light here. You can see. No charging light. No life. So. Let's check to see if we have some voltages on the board. Let's check ground from the USB ports. On the plus of the charging port. 19.4 we do have some power supplies on ceramic capacitors zero on this power supply on this power supply zero here we have another power supply zero so clearly the main 19 horsepower rail is missing why we don't know it why the main 19 horsepower rail is missing no one knows so the next step putting the mount meter on the, on the beeping mode i'll go straight on those capacitors here zero zero I'm checking on the ceramic capacitors which are connected on the main 19 volts power, power rail. One side of the capacitor must be 19 volts, the other side is connected to ground. But they are beeping here on the next power supply. Zero. Here we have some capacitors. Zero. Zero. So the main 19 volts power rail is shorted to ground. If I'm to check the resistance of the short circuit, I'll put my mount meter on ohms. Let's check on those capacitors. Yeah. We have like 2.4 ohms. 2.4 ohms meaning the the resistance of the of the the short circuit is very is very very low very low resistance meaning my 19 volts power rail all the current is being sent to ground for sure, we have uh, something is shorted there. But uh, based on the resistance of the circuit, 2.4 ohms, I think uh, the, it can be a fuse. It can be, sorry, it can be a ceramic capacitor or a MOSFET. I don't think it's a chip. I don't think so. I think we have a shorted MOSFET 
or a ceramic capacitors which is connected on the main 90 volts power line. So, how do you find out which capacitor is the problem? Diode mode. How do you, how do we find out the short circuit actually? Where our short circuit is? That is a very good question. Here we have like zero zero point eleven here zero zero point four. So what can be shorted here? I think we have to go on a microscope. One second. So let's see on a microscope. Let's see on a microscope what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, we have our motherboard visual inspection. Let's just inspect the board. Those ceramic capacitors which I checked here, and I also checked here. You see those capacitors near the corner there. Maybe you can see. Okay. My input MOSFET, they must be on the other side of the board. And I also checked the yeah. Check those capacitors. I think our problem is here. Look at these capacitors. You see? These capacitors. This has got a crack. This one. This is a cracked capacitor. Okay. Let's come with power supply. I think we just found the problem. What did I told you? What did I told you? I have too much suspicious about those capacitors, so I'll come with power supply. Only I'll lower the voltage to three volts. I'll come with power supply. I have much suspicious about those capacitors. What is my where is my problem? This is ground. Check what did I told you? Check here. So we just seen the capacitor without it without even testing. Check this capacitor. Let me raise the current. That is our problem. That is our problem. Check the capacitor. The alcohol is boiling. You see that capacitor? That is our problem. So, we'll take down the capacitor as usual. Let's take down that capacitor quickly.
let's check down the capacitor come on capacitor Our capacitor is out. Our capacitor is out now. Let's check for short. On the next one. Not shorted. So that was our problem. That was our problem. Just a shorted capacitor. So let's see now. Let's see now. Let's see now. If when you plug in the charger, we have light. That's very important. Plug in the charger. And we do have light. You see the help light? We have light, this one. So replacing the capacitor no this time we are not going to replace the capacitor because even if we don't replace the capacitor the next power supply will still have those same ceramic capacitors which are there to to filter the spikes from the main 19 volts power rail so even without that capacitor our laptop still work be fine still will work like a normal no issues so we have the light that means the 19 volts power rail is present the 3.3 is present but you can confirm that with the use of a multimeter 19 volts oh it's, it's diode volts 19 3.3 3.26 all what is left is to try and power on the laptop on we have light maybe they reset the bios we have to wait yeah it's restarting Come on, where's the picture? We have picture, you see? Simo's battery, blah, 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 plus enter. And we have a working laptop. It's now off. Do you need a heat sink? I don't think so. Maybe it's trying to load from Windows. Now you can see the HP log. It's trying to load and it's loading Windows, you see. So basically, that's how you fix a shorted laptop motherboard. That was an easy one. Just checking the many 19 volts power rail is shorted. And we found out a capacitor there was no need really there was no need to use like a dc power supply to voltage injection method there was no need to do that because the 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 problem was visible even with naked eyes yeah it's loading windows it's loading windows mouse is working there's user password the touch pay the keyboard everything is working fine here so 
I'll stop this video now. Like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. Obvious. See you on the next game. Bye.